Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown, and today is Thankful Thursday. I love Thankful Thursday because I get to share with you something that I'm specifically thankful for. And the horse I'm riding this morning is Duke. Now, Duke is getting towards the end of his fourth week, so tomorrow would technically be his last day. Uh, most likely, we're going to be working with him another month just because his owner is going in for some knee surgery and he could use some continual work. Now, a few few weeks ago, I talked about how you can get a horse ready to ride in a month. A lot of horses you can. And, um, and Duke's no different. Well, he did have some months of training prior to me, but he's really come a long way in this month that I've had him. And one thing just to keep in mind is just because a horse is safe to ride or relatively safe to ride, it's all a relative safety, right? Because sometimes uh, no matter what, no matter how good a horse is, no matter how bomb proof they may seem, uh, horses can spook and, and you can get into an accident pretty easily with a horse because of, because of their nature. They're just naturally inclined to, to have that fight or flight response. And so it's always a, it's, it's always a juggling act to try to get horses to, to be safer, safer on the trail, safer in the arena, and to reduce that risk of, of them having an accident. And, um, so we're probably going to be working with him another month and just refining him some more and and doing some more really more technical stuff probably getting him into uh into some flying lead changes in the arena and getting him a little bit better at riding away from home he, he rides really well and really straight when he's going towards home but when he's riding away sometimes he slows down and so and he, he veers left to right because he's thinking about going home so we're going to work on some of those smaller issues but as far as him being reactive and and him being um, unsafe on the trail we've kind of gotten most of that out of him he did spook yesterday when i was crossing a bridge over the 202 i was crossing the bridge and it was over by the the gravel pit and there was a big truck that came behind him he didn't spook to that but then there was another truck that passed going uh the opposite direction of us as we were crossing that bridge and so he spooked and spun around a little bit and i i was able to get him under control but that showed that when you get when horses get, to, most horses will have a breaking point. And when he got to that point where there were two big trucks rattling around and, and big engines, big gravel trucks coming by, one going one way, one going the other way, he kind of lost it a little bit and spooked, but he got under control and we were fine. And so that's something that we can refine with him as well. And today for Thankful Thursday, I know that was kind of a long intro with uh, my horse, with this horse, Duke. But today for Thankful Thursday, I want to say how thankful I am for a person that came into our life at Riata Horsemanship and Lady Horse Boss, and her name is Kylie. And Kylie is a spectacular young lady who has trained horses and a few years ago. She, was, she trained horses full time for something like five years, and she doesn't do that right now, but what she, she kind of burnt out, got burnt out with training horses and dealing with clients and that kind of thing. And so... She has a passion right now for helping horse business owners create uh, more lucrative businesses and profitable, profitable businesses and businesses that they're not going to burn out with. And as you know, if you're a horse trainer, it, you can get to the point where you get burnout. You're training so many horses and you've got so many clients to deal with uh, that sometimes it can get overwhelming. And that can happen in any, anything, any, kind of, uh, any kind of career that you choose. And specifically for the horse training career and the horse, the horse, uh, the equine world in general, uh, Kylie is building a business to help people have successful businesses in the equine world. And no matter what your business is in the equine world, whether you're a massage therapist or a chiropractor or a trainer or you board, you have a boarding facility or whatever it is, or a combination of, th of those things, she is an excellent uh, social media marketer and she does a great job for us and she's helping us get our lady horse boss business going for, with Stacy and I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful for her thankful for her um, her energy and her ideas she has she's a very creative person she's helping us build our business and I can guarantee you she'll help you build yours so it and her business is called Crossbow Equine Crossbow that C R O S S B O W Equine and if you go to find Crossbow Equine and you're looking for somebody to help you with social media marketing and help you improve and, and work, work through your business, any challenges you might have in your business, she's the gal to do it with. We're doing it with, with her. She's helping us. 
and I'm so thankful for her and thankful for the opportunity we've had to meet her and for her to be in our life and to help us in our business and to, to be a good friend. So that, that's for my, that's what I had for Thankful Thursday. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, make sure to always be thankful, live with passion, live with purpose, and stay safe in the saddle.